pick you. As if you couldn't get any more garish from your previous incarnation. I am pink death. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? It's a typical human settlement. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have no respect for your abilities, Shepard. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. Tell me a little about yourself. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. You're a good man, Jacob. Maybe. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Why did you join Cerberus? Cerberus is different. That's all for now. What are you going on about now? He looks so angry <laughs> just then. <laughs> looks a bit ghost towny again, doesn't it? Fucking violin screech. Yeah, at least there's still a violinist here. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Oh. Hear that? Sounds like Fenris mechs. Gotta hurt! Get over here! Make activity. Oh, I know. Yeah. The robot dog. The robot dog. The dog. Use your bio eggs on it if you like. I'm a bit dead now. Oh, fuck. Let's do a dude. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. We're not alone here. Very dark. Oh, What's in there? Mm, at least my suit glows. Okay. Oh, you fail the whole fucking thing. Oh wait, does it not go back? Nope. Oh fuck's sake, you didn't warn me. Yeah. You played this Incoming! Hit <laughs> <laughs> bags. I have a slam. <laughs> nice. Yo, Quarians. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Look yeah. who the fuck it is. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? This is definitely Commander Shepard. I nearly died, Tally. Likely story. Perhaps we can work together. We're here looking for a young Quarian named Vitor. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Now we're working with Cerberus? Your people really don't like Cerberus. They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. We can argue over who killed who later. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. <laughs> What is it? The, the medbed. 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 Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones in the head. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. <laughs> they just float past like, la la la, I didn't see you. I see you, Shepard. Have a nice oh. Left, left, left. Right in front of you. Oh, there. Use overload on Where are you? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh. There we go. Oh. Oh. My fucking shins. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. What? What was he shouting at me? Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on the head. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. Come on, we can still catch them. What was he fucking shouting at me? It didn't make any sense. I couldn't hear. He said, "You're done. You're done. You're done." Just constantly. Uh -oh. oh, I see you. I see you, you shitbags. Yeah. One left.
still not a hair out of place. The armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Okay, hold LB. Uh, You've got a grenade launcher, haven't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, fuck him up with that. <laughs> that did it. Yep. Holy fuck. There we go. So the Quarians all got fucking deaded. Not Tally. No, Tally's fine, I'm sure. Hey. Oh, there's Tally. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. You're not tending to him very well. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of it, I really want to blow one of these up. Underwhelming. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. <laughs> Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. <laughs> Human, the monsters, the swarms, they took everyone. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. What the hell is that? That's some kind of alien? What? Thank you, Shepard. My god. I think it's a collector. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Tell me more about these swarms. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you, freeze you. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. What happened next? The ship flew away. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. You were very helpful. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omni tool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Good luck out there. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, <laughs> good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? More importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? It could be any number of reasons. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Tichanka. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. 
Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Yo. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Oh, yeah. It's a Monandy. Good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Kind of hard to tell, but um, this Normandy is quite a bit bigger than the last one. Okay. Part of its positives was that it was a bit smaller. It's not like hugely bigger. Extra toilets. Exactly, lots of extra toilets. <clears throat> Your casual clothes, my man. Don't you think she looks like Hannah from uh, Dexter? Yeah. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I do not helm the ship. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Go ahead. Snoop around. Still fucking catching up with that shit. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you are <laughs> such a downer. <laughs> <laughs> How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Why are you named Edie? ED is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. Where are you? My core intelligence is behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? 
I have a block that prevents- Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. What's this area of the ship? Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. No. <laughs> okay, Kelly. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. That doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar, Quarian, Asari, Turian, Salarian, Quarian, Hanar, Salarian, Quarian, Asari, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. What can I say? I'm a people person. How do you feel about- How do I feel? Honored. Exhilarated. Terrified. Under your leadership, we can't fail. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Um... <laughs> I better go. Okay. Hi. Commander, it's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Aquarium, but no fish in it. That's because you need to put a fish in it, Joe. Oh my god. Get Liara in there. <laughs> no, she's not a fucking fish. Yo. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. Yet, you alive. I'm shocked. Surprising, even to me. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people, but not you, I see. <laughs> Welcome back, Shepard. Commander Shepard, Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. What do you do here on the Normandy? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands <laughs> most of the time. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. Literally. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> you came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's <laughs> Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for Are the- you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the- Kenneth, you're complaining. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save Why us a lot Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time Where did you receive sure. your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single- Which was bullshit. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Thanks, Mum. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. <laughs> He's My like, God. such a good character. Carry on. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. 